You've come to Sabbath school. Welcome to Sabbath school. You've come to Sabbath school. Welcome to Sabbath school. Hi, thank you for joining us for Sabbath school today at Bladensburg. We're so happy that you came by to join us. Please, please, please share with your family and friends and we love you and miss you. Bye. God works in mysterious ways. We may pray and imagine how he will answer our prayers, but in the end, he will surprise us with something far greater than what we asked for. God loves you. Enjoy God's overflowing blessings each day. Submission by Sister Blackburn. Hi kids. Today I'll be reading your memory verse. It comes from Psalm chapter 19, verses one and two. And it says, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. Hope you enjoy. Have a great day. Psalms 19 and 1 says, the heavens are telling of the glory of God, and the expanse of heaven is declaring the works of his hands. When I think about the God's glory and all that he has done, the twinkling of the stars, the moon that shines in the night, and in the day, the brightness of the sun, the glory of God is radiant. He's perfect. He's just in all his wonders. He formed the heavens and the earth from nothing, but by every word that he said. His spirit hovered over the face of the waters, and he said, let there be light, and it was so. He said, let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters, and let it separate. And he created the sky. God's glory is so amazing. He thought of everything. The birds and the vegetation too. In all his magnificence, by the work of his mighty hands, he formed me and you. You see, boys and girls, as you think about the glory of God and consider the works of his hands, just know that you were on God's mind when he created the heavens and the earth. You are an important part of God's perfect plan. Bye, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath. Floor, like me? Hey Dad, I've got a surprise for you. I've got something special for Father's Day to thank you for the love that you give me every day. It's just a little heart, but it says all I can say, and it's just for you on Father's Day. I 
put my hands together, this is how I start. I curve my fingers around, so they make a heart. Then I blow it like a kiss, and I send it your way. And it's just for you, on Father's Day. Got something special for Father's Day To thank you for the love that you give me every day It's just a little heart, but it says all I can say And it's just for you on Father's Day It's just for you on Father's Day Happy Father's Day, Dad! Today's Hispanic highlight is Roberto Clemente. A pioneer of the game, Roberto Clemente paved the way for Hispanic Americans in Major League Baseball. The prolific right fielder was born in 1934 in Puerto Rico, joined the Islanders Amateur Baseball League when he was just 16, and made the professional league two years later at the age of 18. Another two years and Clemente was off to Montreal, Quebec to play in the minor leagues in 1954. In the same year, the Pittsburgh Pirates scouted him during training in Richmond, Virginia, and Clemente was called up to the majors by November of 1954. Clemente, wearing the iconic number 21, went on to become the first Latin American and Caribbean to win a World Series as a starting player in 1960. He sadly died in a plane crash in 1972 while on his way to Nicaragua to deliver aid to the earthquake victims when he was just 38. In his honor, the Major League Baseball renamed the Commissioner's Award to the Roberto Clemente Award, given to the player who all around exemplifies sportsmanship and community outreach. He was also inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1973, making 
Roberto Clemente, the first Latin American and Caribbean honoree. Today's Hispanic highlight, Roberto Clemente. Hi boys and girls. Today's story is called A Wise Choice. Have you ever been asked to do something that was really hard? Joseph was asked to tell Pharaoh about some dreams, but he needed God's help to do it. The morning light poured through the palace windows. Pharaoh woke up. His head ached. He had not slept well at all. He had had very strange dreams. Bring the wise men to me, he called to his servants. The wise men listened carefully as the king told them about his strange dreams. They whispered together and shook their heads. We don't know what the dreams mean, they admitted. Suddenly, Pharaoh's cupbearer stepped forward. When I was in prison, the cupbearer began. I had a strange dream too. The young man named Joseph told me what my dream meant, and everything happened exactly as he said it would. Pharaoh pointed toward the door. Bring this Joseph to me. The guards rushed to the jail and brought Joseph out. He shaved and put on clean clothes. Then the guards hurried him to the king. I had a dream, Pharaoh told Joseph. No one here can tell me what it means. I hear that you can explain dreams. Tell me what my dream means. Joseph answered truthfully, I cannot explain the meaning of your dreams, but God will tell me and I will tell you. I dreamed I was standing on a river bank, Pharaoh began. I saw seven beautiful fat cows come out of the river and begin to eat grass. Then seven skinny cows came out and the seven skinny cows ate up the seven fat cows. And then I had another dream, Pharaoh continued. I saw seven plump heads of grain growing out of a stalk. Then seven more thin, ugly heads of grain grew out of the same stalk. And the thin heads of grain swallowed up the plump heads. Both the dreams mean the same thing, Joseph began. God is telling you what he's going to do. There will be seven good years for growing food. And then there will be seven years of hunger because food will not grow. You need to choose a wise man, Joseph said. Let him store the extra food that grows in the seven good years so that there will be food during the seven years of famine and the people will not die of hunger. Pharaoh was pleased to hear Joseph's ideas. He took his own ring off of his finger and put it on Joseph. He put a gold chain around Joseph's neck too. You are in charge of all the land of Egypt, Pharaoh proclaimed. You are second in command under me. So Joseph began his new work. He rode around the land and arranged to store all the extra food that grew in the seven years of good years. Joseph was not in jail anymore. He was working for the king. But Joseph knew one thing was the same. 
God would take care of him in the palace just as he had taken care of him in jail. <laughs> so boys and girls, it's important to make wise decisions. But you have to remember, God needs to be in that planning of your wise decision so that you will make good ones. Let's pray. Dear Lord, please help us to be wise. Bless us with the wisdom that we need to make good choices. But first and foremost, may we always ask you for your guidance and listen and follow you. In your name we pray. For you are shepherd we shall not want. Amen. See you next time, boys and girls. Bye. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. Praise the Lord, my soul to keep. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I don't wanna be a Pharisee, no way. I don't wanna be a Pharisee, uh uh. Cause they're no fair, you see. I don't want to be a Pharisee. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. Praise the Lord, my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I don't want to be a hypocrite, no way. I don't want to be a hypocrite, uh uh. Cause they're not hip with it. I don't want to be a hypocrite. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. Praise the Lord, my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I don't want to be a Sadducee, no way. I don't want to be a Sadducee, uh uh. Cause they're so sad, you see. I don't want to be a Sadducee. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. Praise the Lord, my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. Go ahead and outline your hearts. Just go ahead and take a piece of paper, make your heart shape. Use your scissors and cut that first one out. And now use this first one, this white one, as a template for all your other colored hearts. So go ahead and make eight of these before we move on to the next step. Now, once you've cut out all of your hearts, you can go ahead and take your black marker and outline each heart so they all look like this. Make sure to measure out your paper exactly how the measurements are on the screen. Take your first heart and you're going to start measuring where each heart will be placed so it lines up exactly. Use your ruler and your pencil very carefully. Again, follow the measurements, mark at one centimeter, going all the way up for however many hearts you have on both sides. And then just connect each line that just as she did. Great job. Now you're gonna take the blunt part of the scissors just to help you fold the piece of paper. You're not cutting anything anymore, um, or at least right now. You're just using this to kind of help you fold that piece of paper a little better. So when she, when she picks it up, see, it just helps it fold easily. That way when we uh, pull the piece of paper out, each heart will be able to fold uh, perfectly. Now we're just going to go ahead and measure where the hearts are going to be placed exactly. So take your pencil and just trace the curved part of the heart 
uh, up to each line. And you're gonna do that all the way until you get to the last one. All right, now that that step is finished, we're gonna go ahead and start adding our hearts with our glue. You don't need a lot, a little goes a long way, and we're just doing the curved parts of our heart, uh, of our hearts. So just keep gluing all the way up until you uh, run out of hearts. All right, now we're gonna take our flat piece, measure it exactly as that. You're gonna put it under it, add some glue, and then right under the heart where the piece of paper is folded, that's where you're gonna add it. One side, second side, great job. Now hold that part and just pull it out to make sure it works just like that. Beautiful. Take your ruler, because you're gonna make a little triangular uh, tip. Take your scissors, cut that part off. Yep, just like that, great job. Now if you like, you can add a little heart where it says pull at the bottom, and all there's left to do is to decorate. Decorate each heart for your daddy, um, and just make really nice notes that I know that he'll love because you made it. And that's it, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed our Father's Day craft. Remember, I love you. God loves you. Happy Sabbath. Happy Father's Day. Our Sabbath school is over and we are going to church. Goodbye, goodbye, be always kind and true. Goodbye, goodbye, be always kind and true. Bye, boys and girls. See you next time.